Okay, hi, Ansi Garcia here, and I'm going to try to unmuddy the waters when it comes to telephony features, when it comes to Spark App, Spark Call with a desk phone, and Spark Hybrid Call Connect Call Aware with a desk phone. Okay, so I want us to distinctly think of those uh, three things separately. Um, Spark App, Spark Call with desk phone, and Spark Hybrid with desk phone. Okay? So there's been a little um, debate on what telephony features are available. And this came about from uh, a particular customer. We have 17,000 um, uh, uh, clients or 17,000 endpoints. And those endpoints are going to be Spark. So uh, some debate came up or a, a problem uh uh, came up on maybe that's not the right approach because a traditional um, uh, company or I shouldn't say a traditional company a company of any size enterprise most likely today will need some features some telephony features hold transfer some some things like that so hold that thought just a second and I'm going to put a link below on the Cisco Spark data sheet and you're going to understand and I'll further uh, uh, explain why it's a little bit of uh, a little bit of confusion confusion on what exactly is uh, supported. So real quick, let's do some Spark hybrid stuff. You guys know this stuff but I'll do it again. I'm going to call here we got uh, Jessica Kasdan, uh Spark app here, uh, UCAS hybrid phone, Hansen Garcia, Spark uh, app on the Mac. UCAS hybrid phone. I'm going to call the DN, the E164 number of that phone right here. We can see that that answer or that rings at the desk phone. It rings on the Spark app, and it rings on the Spark app also on the on the uh, iPhone here. I'm going to answer right up here. Okay, we're not doing anything or shattering here. We just basically really just did a UCAS to UCAS phone, a Cisco registered uh you know you see ucm registered phone to another cisco registered phone okay and then we see how that works the video is working and all that okay so we'll go ahead and end that call we'll do this again okay we're gonna dial that number again this time i'm gonna pick up over here on the spark app and i'm just gonna hold for just a second let me make sure that let me just tell you for just a second when I, when I rang from this phone to that phone, all my telephony features were there for me to use. So all these buttons and, and hunt groups and, and the hundreds of, uh, of uh, literally hundreds of, of features that we have in, in UCAS or CUCM today, they were available to me, okay? I can do soft buttons, I can so soft templates, I can change buttons around. I got all those features available to me. Again, hundreds of them. Now, I just did the same call, but I answered on the Spark app over here. Uh, you'll see some graininess. That's Don't be alarmed. I just got low bandwidth. I'm on LTE out here, uh, way out in, um, in, in the country out here. So uh, there's not any bugs or anything like that. <clears throat> so UCAS phone, E164 number. Uh, we get this simultaneous ring or this call connect thing, and I answered on the Spark um, app itself. Now let's take a look at what we have available on the Spark app as, as telephony features. We know if we picked up over here we had everything under the sun as far as uh, telephony features. Okay now let's get a little closer in what's going on here. So we have Spark Hybrid but we we call the E164 number for one Spark phone, desk phone, and we answered on the Spark app. For one thing I want you to notice is there's video between these two. So the video and the audio spans the architecture. In other words, we have UCAS there reaching out to a Spark client and we have video. So that's a big plus there. Okay, so let's continue and let's dig a little bit deeper. Again, I want to reiterate that if we called from there and picked up on the UCAS phone, all telephony features are available. All telephony features are available there what telephony features are available here in the Spark app. Well, let's take a look. We have mute, okay? We can mute ourselves. We can mute the video if we'd like. Just mute video and keep the audio on. Uh, we can share a screen. Now, this isn't really a telephony feature, but I want to show you that 
anyway, just so you can see we can select an application or we can share the whole screen. And I want to show you that that also works inside of... Um, Alrighty, we have a little delay here. Let's do that again. There we go. You see we're sharing our screen here. And if you look right over here, we're sharing the screen, okay? That's a UCAS screen there. And it doesn't matter what device it would be on UCAS or registered to UCAS. Could be a DX, could be an SX, could be a DX80. It doesn't matter, okay? So, again, that's not a... a telephony feature but I wanted to show you that anyway just so you see that 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 works okay so let's continue we're going from left to right here I have a dial pad maybe I dial into voicemail or something like that I need them dial pad and send some DTMF digits and I have add guest I can add a guest here I mean I type a name and I could start going down that and then dial that and add them to the list of, uh, you know, conferencing basically is what it is. Okay, and I want you to look around here um, and you can see there's nothing else there. I don't have any telephony, any more telephony features. This is to pop back in my messaging. Of course, this is in this, uh, you know, kind of space thing called people. So there's no other telephony features here. Again, that's what I'm trying to to, to get across, even though this is Spark Hybrid, this could be Spark Call with a PMP. It doesn't matter. On my Spark app, I don't have any of these features. <clears throat> um, so uh, if I were to deploy this on an enterprise and say you're going to have all soft phones only, you know, maybe some wouldn't have a problem. You know, um, I think most today would have a problem. Again, there's lots of lines of businesses in a large enterprise and in buried inside those businesses there's people that are doing hunt groups and on hold and transfers and, and there's people that have been just been operating that way for many, many years and we want to make sure that they're aware of when you use this app uh, using Spark Hybrid, you know, this is not going to be something there. So we want to, now that's not a negative thing. The plus, the plus in all this is Hey, you can have a desk phone and get all the features plus some, right? As, 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 as if you were going to Spark Call way with a PMP. Spark Call with a PMP now, if you look at my link below, you're going to see a link to the Spark Call or Spark uh, Cisco Spark um, data sheet. And in that data sheet, it doesn't, it doesn't call out. And table number three, that's the one you want to look at, table number three, you're going to see all these telephony features there. Those telephony features are the telephony features that are available to a Spark phone connected and registered to Spark itself, right? And typically they're going to have a, a PMP with that. So uh, draw that distinction. Spark data sheet is going to have what is available to a Spark phone connected to Spark UCAS, however, or Spark Hybrid, our telephony features are um, kind of married to whatever Cisco call manager that we have. And we have the latest, of course, 11.5 running in our cloud or our UCAS. And that's going to give you a whole myriad of uh, very cool features that are going to be able to be deployed in the enterprise. And it doesn't matter what line of business is inside an enterprise. We're going to make, make sure, we're going to ensure, or we're going to be able to um, meet the demands of anything weird because we all know Cisco Call Manager has a hundreds, literally hundreds of features. So I just wanted to call that out, um, and hopefully that's understandable and, and that makes some sense.